PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I want to show you from Cooler Master the Storm Sentinel gaming mouse. That's right, a mouse from Cooler Master. They're venturing into a totally new area now with this high quality mouse and they also included here a mouse pad for me to review along with it. So let's take a closer look at this uh, Sentinel 5600 DPI mouse. So it's obviously going to be programmable with tons of features. So eight programmable buttons. So you can remap the buttons and set them up the way you want and save that information on board within the mouse. It's got 64K of memory, five different profiles that you can save and access quickly on the fly and then associate different color schemes with them. So the LED on the mouse actually changes color. So a whole bunch of neat features there, including security, adjustments for weight, all of that we're going to look at in a second, as well as this nice uh, weapon of choice mouse pad that they included. It reminds me of uh, Kevlar, you know, the uh, the material of it. It's uh, it's like any other mouse pad, really, but um, it's pretty good with this mouse specifically, right? It slides around nicely, um, and the sensitivity of it uh, doesn't vibrate or anything on the uh, on the surface, so it's pretty nice. So anyways, taking a look at the mouse, again, we got a maximum tracking speed there and an acceleration of 50G. The gold-plated USB connection there is very interesting. I've never seen that on a, on a mouse before. And uh, the weights are standard. They come underneath, so you can adjust the weights on how heavy the mouse is, so you can move it around faster or a little bit more weight. You can adjust that by removing those 4.5G or grams um, weights. Okay, take those out if you want. If you want to make it a lighter mouse like that and then once you're done you would just um, put the cover back on and then you're set okay so that's uh, pretty standard now in a lot of gaming mice to have uh, weights so Cooler Master has added that feature as well now let's look at the buttons you got two buttons here on the side right forward and backwards for example you've got the uh, scroll there which is also a button you've got another button here at the top to change profiles and these two to change DPI and in the center you're gonna get an LED Okay, nothing on the other side, by the way. So let's plug it in. You can see here that by default, I've got it set to a red LED color. And in the center, we've got the LED uh, that displays the dot pitch. But you can change the color uh, and associate it to a different profile, for example. So there's up to uh, seven different colors, including no color, if you just want it to be all just black and turned off. So uh, in the dark, it would look like this, basically. Okay, gives you an idea there. So very nice uh, LED, you can see the dot pitch there, the uh, DPI on it. So uh, you know what profile you're using, for example, and you can modify the uh, DPIs too. It doesn't have, you don't have to use the pre-defined uh, um, DPIs, the sensitivity that it comes with. You can adjust those through the software. Okay, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you quickly want to change things on the fly, you can do it. Here's the software, I just installed the uh, drivers, the uh, CM Storm Sentinel software and uh, it's pretty cool looking actually and it has all the different options like I said to modify and save it to the mouse so then you can carry it with you so the DPI levels they have suggested values there from a range from 1100 like I said to 5600 the motion sensitivity the click sensitivity all of that of course you can adjust it and save it to a profile depending on the type of game that you're playing. For example, you might want different types of sensitivity, so that's pretty cool. And of course, if you don't like the way the buttons are associated to do certain things, you can actually remap them and change them to do different things. So instead of a single click to fire, you can have it doing rapid fire, for example. So all kinds of different cool features that you would expect in a gaming mouse are there. And um, saving the way you want it to work in a profile, up to five different profiles, you can save this too, like I said, and uh, then you can associate profile one with the color green. So that way when you're playing with that profile, you know that that's the green profile that has certain DPI and so forth. So you can save that and call it whatever you want and, um, and then associate a color to it. So the colors are actually specified here at the top. There's a button to select the color scheme and, uh, and all of that. So you can just go ahead and click here at the top and then choose the different color and it will show you more or less um, the, the different types of colors that you can choose from, right? So there you go. And um, most important too as well for a gaming mouse is the macro support, right? You wanna be able to do key combinations, right? For fast moves and complex moves, stuff like that. So you can obviously record yourself doing some 
quick key combinations and then if you made a mistake you can always adjust it there also so that's pretty nice uh, you can move move the um, the steps the keystrokes up or down if you made a mistake uh, or just save it again redo it so it's pretty nice you know uh, easy to use straightforward it might look like there's a lot of stuff going on here but there's not I mean it's pretty straightforward e easy to use software and very nice uh, mouse to to control which is good right the grip where your thumb lies and, and your fingers everything was pretty nice I like the design definitely a cool design very ergonomic and uh, came of course with the driver CD the um, storm guard PCI Express slot there so you can tie your your mouse to it and keep it safe so people don't pull it off and yank it so nice to include that in there from cooler master and I'd like to thank them for for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching